I want good technical MMA rounds. I don't want you guys coming in there pity patting. Like I want you throwing sharp punches with real time, real speed, hitting real takedowns, doing real jujitsu on the ground, but I want you to be doing it in a very technical way. Like I don't want you to, I don't want you to have success tomorrow in practice because you were stronger than your opponent, right? Or faster. I want you to have success because you did the right thing first. What we're doing has value in people's lives. Pressure is what makes people better. In that case, let's have some fun. It's gonna be a great year for everybody. Everybody who wants it to be. If you, whatever you're looking at, that's where you're going, okay? Don't look down. Like if you see the ground, that's where you're gonna be waking up is down there. Your number one thing is your own safety, which means you have to protect your body. Like you, when you're falling in awkward ways or you're fighting and it's causing you to be in an awkward position that compromises your safety with your knees or your arms or your neck, you have to give up and give in and let go in order to protect yourself. That's longevity, that's sustainability. You cannot uh, prioritize winning a stupid drill in here over your own health, which means where people usually get hurt is they get too competitive and then they, they, they put winning above their physical health. You guys follow what I'm saying there? So don't reach back. Okay, don't reach back, don't catch yourself, you tuck your chin, you move and, 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 and help them take you down if you have to in order to protect yourself. You guys did a really good job. It doesn't surprise you, this is why women get better at MMA and Jiu Jitsu quicker than men, okay? You guys have less of an ego. You guys are, you guys are more willing to learn and not keep score as much as these guys, okay? So when you guys were compromised, you did exactly what I said you fell in a nice, safe, to safe way. When you got into a dominant position, you controlled it on the way down, right? You weren't, you weren't concerned with really making a point, okay? That I like. That's how you need to train all the time if you, if you wanna do this long term. If you can't train in that mindset, you will not be able to, to sustain this. There will be no longevity. If you come to practice and winning is more important than learning, you will, you will quit. Either you'll quit because you're too broken to continue on, or you'll quit because you're just sick and tired of being frustrated and feeling like a loser because all that matters to you is the score, okay? The score is you versus you, remember? And you're going to get better and learn more when you become less attached to the outcome, right, of any given exchange, and more concerned with, am I trying to do the right thing? Not what result am I getting, but did I attempt the correct escape? Did I, did I technically do a, a, a good takedown? Did I get good reps in practice today? Or did I try to mask everything with speed and tenacity and aggression and muscle and then I went to the gym and lifted more weights and ate more steroids and tried to compensate for my inability to do the technical thing by just because that's not sustainable. In the short term, I'm not saying that that won't work. It will in the short term. But nobody's doing that long term. That is not a sustainable pattern. Eating steroids, lifting more weights, and going harder in practice, it might work in the short term, but I'm looking at the long game, right? I'm looking at like, am I gonna be on the mat at 65? Am I gonna be able to pick up my grandkids at 75? Or am I gonna be too broken from just bad practices, okay? I don't wanna be that broken, and I don't want you guys to be that broken either, okay? So let's focus on that, and I'm getting you guys prepared for tomorrow, because tomorrow is MMA rounds. I want good technical MMA rounds. I don't want you guys coming in there pity patting. Like, I want you throwing sharp punches with real time, real speed, hitting real takedowns, doing real jujitsu on the ground, but I want you to be doing it in a very technical way. Like I don't, want you to, I don't want you to have success tomorrow in practice because you were stronger than your opponent, right? Or faster. I want you to have success because you did the right thing first. Push tomorrow, hard practice, okay? But 
a good practice, one that's going to make you better next week and one that's going to get you closer to April 6th. You all right there, Dave? Yeah. Careful. Put your put your body ahead of winning. Yeah. Okay. I don't want I don't want to well, see you. I was trying you, I don't that want, hip toss. I, I know, didn't get my legs. I know, right. but if it doesn't feel right, don't don't horse it. You know what yeah. I mean? Like don't force it. Yeah. I don't want to see you get injured. I want to see you be able to well, compete that's, in April. That's and, the one thing I was talking to uh, Mike when we were in the cage over there is. I'm getting in my own head as we're ramping up. I know. Because I'm fighting more of my own pain than I am anything else. My cardio is fine. Mm -hmm. It's the pain scale that I'm dealing with. And then instead of trying to be technical, I try to muscle because I'm tight. And I don't know. I just I don't know what to do with my body. I guess Here, here's point. here's the thing so here's the thing I never worry about like when when people get into a competitive environment mm -hmm. like on April 6th when you get into that cage yeah I'm not worried about you being aggressive or being able to turn it up mm -hmm. you'll do that naturally I don't have to teach you how to yeah. do that that that's like a human instinct that's gonna happen on its own what I'm concerned about when we're preparing for a competition is giving you the technical tools that wouldn't come naturally if they weren't yeah. taught and learned and that's why I'm saying when you're in here I need you to relax, let go of that other stuff, and focus merely on the technique. Okay. And don't worry because I don't expect the outcome to be perfect yeah. in practice. But I, but I, but I want to see you trying those things, and so that over the next few weeks, maybe you can add one or two technical things to your toolbox. And then when you get in there and the lights are on and the music's on and the adrenaline's pumping, you'll you'll be able to put all that other physical attributes into the technical stuff that you accumulated okay. during training. Does that make sense? Yeah. But what I, the last thing I want to see happen is have you put all this effort in getting here at five in the morning and, uh, well, and, and, then, and then all of a sudden you blow out your knee or yeah. you tweak your neck or you throw out your shoulder and well, now you can't compete. Okay, we're moving weights next door if any, anybody wants to help. Huh? I talked to you about it this morning. While you run back to the house, I'll get that stuff in. Did you say anything about the sauna? <laughs> you can do it fuck yourself. Oh, yeah. I, told you when we I told you when we pulled up, I said, hey. You didn't tell me when we pulled up. You didn't say anything about the sauna. It's okay. Because if you did, I would have said. I'll ask one of my progeny. I'll ask one of my progeny. That's why you made children. Stella, would you do your father a big favor? Your, your mother let me down again. She forgot to turn the sauna on. Can you go downstairs and turn it to the second number one? Thank you. Have a lit day. All right. Peace. All right. Let's check this out. That's why we I think it will. Do you have a tape measure? Do you have a tape measure? Sure, I'll bet you. How much? You know. Oh, sexual favors, okay. <laughs> Get the tape measure. Okay. Oh, uh, she's in trouble for sure. It's not gonna be her day. She is, but it's not gonna matter, Michael, because I just stepped it off. Okay. I win. And Ari's got it on film, so there's no reneging, no welching on the bet. Okay. okay. I'll step on it for you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, what is that, five feet? Yeah. Okay. 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 Go ahead, to go to the other end. Ten feet. Oh, snap! What? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. High five. I don't believe you. On video. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 what? That has nothing to do with it, Ding it Dong. It does have to do with it. 
No, it doesn't, because they're just going to cut the turf. Boop, that boop. doesn't count. Yes, it does. They cut the turf. And they're going to cut it there, cut it there too. What do you think they're going to do? Leave a big gap? You mean, yeah. No. That's typical. <laughs> what are they going to do here? What do you mean, what are they going to do there? The, the turf stops like right here. It doesn't stop right there. You just Did measured you it. Did you not just see how I measured it? Yeah. It was like, it was like an inch shy of that. <laughs> it was not an inch shy. And even if it was, even if it was, it, it could come right up to it. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. You still lost. I know I lost the bet. I wanted to know what this is. We're going to fill it in with mats. We're going, to be, we're going to be cutting mats and piecing it all in so that it's solid. It's 12 feet. <laughs> Don't let her intimidate you, Michael. Okay. We still have to figure out what we're going to do with these and these. Okay, everybody's heard you. You know the first rule of holes, right? When you find yourself in one, stop digging. 20 years later, I'm still married. <laughs> Was that a zinger? Was that a <laughs> and I do think we should do the big Teddy Roosevelt mural on the back of this wall, facing first. Yeah. And I think it would be badass. Teddy Swolesville. <laughs> and then um, I, I think we should do a, just a ginormous gorilla right there. Like, so you can't, like, you look through that window, just like, bam. All right. When's the rest of the equipment come? Uh, any day. LLTD. Ladies love Travis Davison. That used to be my rap name. LLTD. 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 It used to be, not anymore. I retired. I, I hung up the mic and turned in my turntables. I was the fourth Beastie Boy. You've heard of the fifth Beatle? I was the fourth Beastie Boy. You weren't you enough? That's messed up. I don't make those kind of jokes, Michael. Go back to your island. Go back to your island. Yeah, I would highly <laughs> trade this cold ass winter for an island was right now. Some of you might feel that this is a stretch, but this is yoga class. We're gonna stretch, if not your body, at least your mind. Remember, we got to prep for camping season. Those music festivals, outdoor music festivals at Thunder Buckets, when I take my knees forward and drop down. I feel, I'm just exhausted. That might be it. Are you eating enough? Are you sleeping enough? I read a, or was it a TED talk? I don't know if it was a talk or something that I read recently that um, I never, I had never heard anyone actually admit to waking up this way, which I do not frequently, but often enough that I don't like it. Um, you wake up with that sense of dread. And it's a terrible thing because I love my life. Like I have a wonderful life, but I wake up with that sense of dread like, Oh my God, I don't want to get out of bed today. I don't want to do this. I just don't want to do this. And then all it takes is for Travis to beat me to the bathroom and then I just like pull the covers back over my head. But this woman in this talk was like, you know, a lot of times that's not you, your, that's not your psychology. Nothing's wrong with you. 
instead of asking yourself that question, what's wrong with my life? Why do I feel this way? It's what else is going on? And more often than not, it's a physiological response to something that we're lacking. Hydration, sleep, proper nutrition, something along those lines. And when our brains decide that something's wrong, they go back in time and they associate that with a feeling, a sensation that you had when that's been the case before. So I started asking myself that instead of waking up in the morning saying, oh God, why do I have to do this today? I wake up and go, mm, did I get enough water? Have I exercised enough? Did I get enough sleep last night? It's helped a lot. Um, so there are lots of ways to reach out. And like I said, in, on one hand, I was astounded on how many people have reached out. I mean, Travis and I have been getting messages from all over the world, um, sending condolences. But on the other hand, it doesn't surprise me at all because the love and connection that we all feel in this room is extended to these four walls, is extended to this valley, is extended to this state, is extended, I mean, it's the same wherever you go. So thank you all. Um, but no classes Saturday, workshop Saturday afternoon, check on MMA practice, um, and I'll see you Friday. And what I decided was that, no, 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 it's not dread. I just don't know how to feel the way that I'm feeling because I haven't felt this way before, because I haven't experienced this before. So learning how to experience without categorizing or refiling that experience. Man. I know. Okay, so this is about self-awareness, right? Yeah. It's all about self-awareness. Or just about, about awareness. awareness.